Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 albums with the most hit songs. For this list, we'll be looking at popular music albums with the most hit songs. We'll be using information from the Billboard records of the most top 10 singles from one album, so the UK charts, as well as albums with many low-ranking hits, will not be included. Which of these albums is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Whitney, Whitney Houston this iconic singer's debut and eponymous album sold extraordinarily well, being certified 13 times platinum in the United States. But she made music history with Whitney. The album debuted at number one, preceded by the number one single, I Wanna Dance With Somebody Who Loves Me. This made Houston the first female artist in history to debut at number one on the Billboard 200. The single was also the first of four consecutive number one hits, followed by Didn't We Almost Have It All, So Emotional, and Where Do Broken Hearts Go? Where do broken hearts go? Can they find their way home? This set another record, as Houston became the first female artist to achieve four consecutive number one singles from the same album. The fifth single, Love Will Save the Day, peaked at number nine, giving Whitney five top 10 hits. Number nine, Legends Never Die, Juice World. This next album couldn't be more aptly titled. This is the part where I tell you I'm fine, but I'm lying, I just don't want you to worry. Released seven months after Juice World's death, Legends Never Die received positive reviews and peaked atop the Billboard 200. It also proved an enormous success in terms of singles and even non-single songs. I do anything in my power to see you just smile. Smile, Life's a Mess, Wishing Well and Come and Go all peaked within the top 10, with the latter two reaching the top five. Two of the album's songs, Conversations and Hate the Other Side, also managed to sneak into the Hot 100 Top 10, despite not being released as singles. The devil in my phone, he wanna talk, but I'm not really up for conversations. This is a rare feat and spoke to the emotional impact of Jared Higgins' music, as well as his tragic passing. Number 8. Janet, Janet Jackson. Prior to Janet's release, Janet Jackson became the highest paid musical act in the world, signing with Virgin Records for approximately $40 million. The investment paid off and then some, with Janet proving one of the most successful albums in the history of music. Its debut single, That's The Way Love Goes, peaked at number one, as did the third single, Again. The album also contained the top five singles, If and Anytime, Any Place, and the top ten singles, You Want This and Because of Love. All told, Janet contained six top 10 singles, making it just one of seven albums to accomplish this feat. The album's success solidified Janet Jackson as a solo artist, and it went on to sell over 14 million copies. Anytime, any place, I don't care Number 7. Faith, George Michael. An enormous late 80s success, Faith spent 12 weeks at number one and 51 weeks inside the top 10. All told, Faith moved over 20 million units, making it one of the best-selling records of all time. Albums are sold with the help of good singles, and Faith had many. Well, 
In fact, it contains four number one songs, making Michael the only British male solo artist to produce four number one singles from the same album. Those singles are Father Figure, One More Try, Monkey, and of course, The Titular Faith, which is easily one of the most famous songs of the 80s. Both Kissing a Fool and I Want Your Sex also peaked within the top five, giving Faith six top five singles. The late 80s were dominated by the sounds of George Michael's pop R&B. Number six, Teenage Dream, Katy Perry. You couldn't turn on the radio in the early 2010s without hearing a song from Teenage Dream. In fact, Teenage Dream was so successful that it made Katy Perry the first female artist and only the second artist in history to produce five number one singles from the same album. I know a place where the grass is really green. These were California Girls, Teenage Dream, Firework, E.T., and Last Friday Night. Firework was the biggest seller, being certified 12 times platinum in the United States. Make them go, uh, uh, uh. The sixth single, the one that got away, peaked at number three, missing history by just two placements. But by reaching number three, the one that got away made Teenage Dream just the seventh album in Billboard Hot 100 history to generate at least six top 10 hits. Number 5. Bad, Michael Jackson Katy Perry was the second artist in history to produce five number one singles from the same album. Michael Jackson was the first, and he did it with Bad. Serving as the final collaboration between Jackson and producer Quincy Jones, Bad had a darker sound than its iconic predecessor, but that didn't stop it from being successful. It was preceded by the number one single, I Just Can't Stop Loving You, and was followed by Bad, The Way You Make Me Feel, Man in the Mirror, and Dirty Diana, all of which reached number one. The album's seventh single, Smooth Criminal, reached number seven, giving Bad six top 10 hits. The album went on to sell 35 million copies, including 25 million in its first four years. Number 4. Scorpion, Drake A double album running 25 songs in 90 minutes, Scorpion received 132 million Spotify streams on its first day of release, breaking the service's one-day record. I'm upset. Half a million on my head I can accept, yeah. It also debuted at number 1 and has been certified five times platinum. Scorpion produced three number one singles in God's Plan, Nice For What, and In My Feelings, with God's Plan being Spotify's most streamed song of 2018. God's Plan, God's Plan, I hold back sometimes I won't, yeah. I'm Upset, Don't Matter To Me, Emotionless, and Nonstop also charted within the top 10, with Nonstop peaking at number two, giving Scorpion seven top 10 singles. The album would end up being Drake's fifth number one and fourth consecutive multi-platinum release. Number three, Born in the USA, Bruce Springsteen. Having sold approximately 30 million copies, Born in the USA is one of the greatest selling albums of all time, and arguably Bruce Springsteen's masterpiece. It also produced seven top 10 singles. The debut single, Dancing in the Dark, peaked at number two and would prove the highest charting song from the album. Glory Days was the second highest at number five, and I'm on Fire reached number six. At night I wake up with the sheets soaking wet and a freight train running through the middle of my head on you. Rounding out the list are Cover Me, Born in the USA, I'm Going Down, and My Hometown, all of which peaked within the top ten. Born in the USA, born in the USA. 
The success of the singles resulted in Born in the USA being certified 15 times platinum, and the accompanying tour grossed upwards of $90 million. Number 2. Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation 1814 Janet Jackson Rhythm Nation 1814 is widely thought to be Janet Jackson's greatest album, as it's filled with experimental production, mixing disparate genres like industrial and swing, and socially conscious lyrics that touched on hot-button topics. The attire that Jackson wore throughout this era also made her a fashion icon of the time. To this day, Rhythm Nation 1814 remains the only album in history to have produced seven top five singles. The debut single, Miss You Much, peaked at number one, as did Escapade, Black Cat, and Love Will Never Do Without You. Rounding out the list is All Right, which reached number 4, and Rhythm Nation and Come Back to Me, both which peaked at number 2. Want more music content? Watch Mojo produces an original podcast taking a behind the scenes look at all things music. The show provides authentic interviews with artists from all around the world, while also staying true to Watch Mojo's roots with top 10 music banter thrown into the mix. What's the best advice Alice Cooper's ever given you? Looking back at the staying power, does it shock you? Uh, no, we have naked pictures of the right people. If you want exclusive interviews with award-winning artists, producers, singers, songwriters, check out Inner Sleeve. Number one, Thriller, Michael Jackson. Arguably the most important album ever made, Thriller proved a worldwide phenomenon. It spent a record 37 weeks at number one, won a record eight Grammy Awards, popularized the concept of music videos, and remains the best-selling album in the world with over 66 million copies sold. And at the time, it also set the record for the most top 10 singles to come from the same album. Both Beat It and Billie Jean reached the top of the charts, and Thriller, The Girl Is Mine, and Wanna Be Startin' Something peaked within the top five. The girl is mine. The dog girl, girl is mine. Reaching number seven and number ten were Human Nature and PYT Pretty Young Thing, respectively, accounting for all seven top ten singles. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.